when you all started, Netflix was just a DVD by mail business. So there literally wasn't a market for this series when you started. That's right, getting those DVDs in the mail was part of how we got by in Manitowoc, <laughs> Wisconsin. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, our models were Paradise Lost, The Thin Blue Line, these mm. were feature films, mm. but you know, we had outlines for a series. And ultimately we just had to keep making a series until we had enough of it made that somewhere could see what it was and see that we could do it. What conclusion did the two of you reach about Stephen Avery's guilt or innocence in this murder? We did not reach a conclusion. I mean, that was really of no consequence to us. We were not concerned with whether or not Stephen Avery had committed this crime. What we were there to do was to document the process and to really question whether Stephen, when he was pulled back into the system, was entering the same system that had failed him in 1985 or whether he was stepping back into a system that had made meaningful progress over the intervening 20 years. So did he get a fair trial? 